Hello everyone. Welcome back to Hero Handmade Crochet YouTube channel. Today I'm going to make this beehive with you. First of all, we will look into the things needed. I'm going to use cotton yarn 3 ply and 2.5 mm steel crochet hook. Stitch marker, pair of scissors, yarn needle, and some fiber filling for stuffing. These are the things required. Now let's see how to make it. Start with a magic ring. Wrap the yarn around your finger twice like this. And then we need to put a stitch to secure the magic ring. Insert the hook into the magic ring. Yarn over, pull through. Now we have a loop, yarn over and pull through the loop. Now we are ready with our magic ring. Now we need to work 6 single crochets into the magic ring. Insert the hook into the magic ring, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through both the loops. This is a single crochet and then again insert the hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through both the loops. Now we have completed 2 single crochets. Again insert the hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through both the loops. Here we have completed 3 single crochets into the magic ring. We will continue 4, 5 and 6. After that we can pull this tail tight to close the magic ring. And then we will insert the stitch marker to mark the round. Now we are going to work six increases all around but we are going to work only to the back loop of the stitch if you look at carefully you can see that we have a front loop and a back loop but we are going to work only to the back loop of the stitch insert the hook into the back loop and work two single crochets into the back loop one and two this is an increase again work two more single crochets into the back loop of the second stitch one and two then again work two single crochets into the back loop of the third stitch one and two then we need to just repeat the pattern work two single crochets into each one of the stitches around one and two again one and two this is the very last stitch of the round work two single crochets into the back loop of the last stitch as well one and two then remove the stitch marker and insert that into the next round Now we need to work one increase into the very first stitch of round 3. Work two single crochets into the back loop of the first stitch 1 and 2. Then work one single crochet into the back loop of the second stitch. Again repeat the pattern. Two single crochets into the back loop of the first stitch. And one single crochet into the back loop of the stitch after that. Again, two single crochets into the back loop of the first stitch and one single crochet into the back loop of the second stitch. Like that, we are going to repeat the pattern until the end of the round. Now we are left with two stitches, work two single crochets into the first stitch 
and one single crochet into the back loop of the last stitch and then remove the stitch marker and attach it to the next round by the end of this round you need to have 18 stitches around then again work two single crochets into the very first stitch as an increase one and two then we need to work one single crochet into each one of the next two stitches one single crochet and another one single crochet into the back loop of the third stitch then repeat the pattern two single crochets into the back loop of the first stitch one single crochet into the back loop of the next two stitches one and another one into the third stitch again two single crochets into the back loop of the first stitch then one single crochet into back loop of each one of the two stitches one and two now repeat the pattern until the end of the round Now we are left with three stitches work two single crochets into the back loop of the first stitch one single crochet into each one of the next two stitches and at the end you need to have 24 stitches around remove the stitch marker and attach it to the next round and we will start with round five Start by working two single crochets into the very first stitch here, one and two single crochets and then work one single crochet into each one of the next three stitches, one, two, three. Remember we need to work only to the back loop all these rounds, work two single crochets into the next stitch and one single crochet into each one of the next three stitches, two and three again two single crochets into the first stitch and one single crochet into the back loop of each one of the three stitches one two and three and just like that we are going to repeat the pattern until the end of the round Now I am left with 4 stitches here, work 2 single crochets into the first stitch, 1 single crochet into each one of the next 3 stitches, 2 and 3. Now we have 30 stitches around and then remove the stitch marker and attach it to the next round. And in round 6 we are going to work 1 single crochet into each one of the stitches around. So work one single crochet into each one of the stitches around. Remember we need to work only to the back loop of the stitch. And then remove the stitch marker and attach it to the next round and in round 7 also we are going to repeat the same pattern we need to work one single crochet into the back loop of each and every stitches around Again remove the stitch marker and attach it to the next round. In round 8 also we are going to work one single crochet into the back loop of each and every stitch around.
and then again remove the stitch marker attach it to the next round you need to have 30 stitches all around and then work one single crochet into each one of the stitches around in round 9 as well Again, remove the stitch marker and attach it to the next round and we have 30 stitches around so far. Again in round 10 also work 30 stitches around. This is the end of round 10 and remove the stitch marker attach it to the next round from here we are going to decrease the number of stitches we need to work one decrease into the first two stitches insert the hook into the first stitch yarn over pull through the stitch now we have two loops on our hook again insert the hook into the second stitch yarn over pull through the stitch now we have three loops on our hook yarn over and pull through all three loops this is a decrease and again work one single crochet into the back loop of each one of the three stitches one two and three then again work a decrease into the next two stitches insert the hook into the back loop of the first stitch yarn over pull through the stitch Again insert the hook into the back loop of the second stitch, yarn over, pull through the stitch, yarn over and pull through all three loops. Again work one single crochet into each one of the next three stitches. One, two and three. Now we need to make another decrease into the next two stitches. One and three. Two, then yarn over and pull through all three loops then work one single crochet into each one of the next three stitches one two and three now we need to repeat the pattern until the end of the round by the end you will have 24 stitches around This is the very last stitch of the round we need to work one decrease and then one single crochet into each one of the last three stitches now we have 24 stitches around remove the stitch marker and attach it to the next round and then we will start with round 12 work one decrease into the first two stitches And then work one single crochet into the back loop of each one of the next two stitches one and two then again work a decrease into the next two stitches and one single crochet into each one of the next two stitches one and two again another decrease into the next two stitches and work one single crochet into each one of the next two stitches this is the pattern we need to repeat until the end of the round by the end you will have 18 stitches around
this is the very last set I'm gonna work here work one decrease into the back loop of the first two stitches and then work one single crochet into each one of the next two stitches and then remove the stitch marker attach it to the next round This is what we have completed so far. And then I'm going to stuff the ball with some fiber filling like so. And we will continue to crochet the next round now we have 12 stitches around and then we will start working one decrease into the first two stitches work one decrease into the back loop of the first two stitches and work one single crochet into the next stitch again work one decrease into the next two stitches and then work one single crochet into the back loop of the next stitch Again, one decrease into the back loop of the next two stitches. And then work one single crochet into the back loop of the next stitch. Now we will repeat the pattern until the end of the round. By the end, you will have 12 stitches around. This is the very last set of the round. Work one decrease into the first two stitches and work one single crochet into the back loop of the very last stitch of the round. Now we have 12 stitches around. Then again, remove the stitch marker and attach it to the next round. And I'm going to fill the ball again with some more fiber filling like so. And then we will start with round 14. In round 14 we need to work 6 decreases all around. We will work 1 decrease into the first 2 stitches. Go into the back loop of the first stitch. Go into the back loop of the second stitch yarn over and pull through all three loops this is the first decrease and then again the second decrease and again one decrease into the next two stitches And again work one decrease into the next two stitches as well yarn over and pull through all three loops and we have four stitches left we need to work two more decreases into those four stitches go into the back loop of the stitch and work one decrease go into the back loop of the first stitch and go into the back loop of the next stitch yarn over and pull through all three loops now we have completed round 14 as well and then remove the stitch marker and we can put a slip stitch to join the round insert the hook into the first stitch of the round 
yarn over pull through the stitch and pull through the loop with that we have completed the ball now we will see how to make the spiral effect of this Now you can see that all these front loops are visible here in the spiral. We are going to work slip stitches all around. Start from the very first stitch over here. Insert the hook into the front loop of the first stitch yarn over pull through the stitch and pull through the loop again go into the second stitch yarn over pull through and pull through the loop again go into the third stitch yarn over pull through the stitch and pull through the loop like that we are going to continue working slip stitches all around in the spiral shape Continue working slip stitches into each one of the front loops around. This is the very last stitch of the spiral. Work a slip stitch into the very last stitch as well. This is what we have completed so far.
and then we will make a little loop here by chain 20 And then what I'm gonna do is insert the hook into a stitch over here and then pull the loop through the stitch like so and then we are going to join it by chain one leave a little tail and you can cut the yarn off Now you can use the yarn needle to hide the tail of the project. Now we have completed our beehive. I hope I have explained all the instructions clearly for you. If you have any questions regarding making this you can comment in the comment section below and if you like the video give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends thank you very much for watching hero handmade